The heavy rain last night in Colorado Springs put a huge damper on things in Pueblo County. Comes up the road, you have a perfect day like this, and it'll just turn into a flood instantly. Just happened to go walk upstairs and look outside, and lo and behold, there's the lake <laughs> in the driveway. It's not something you typically see in a front yard. This small pond formed in the Montoya's driveway, and it's all because the Arkansas River is just a few houses down. Tractors move buckets of water, and nearly every minute, this drain pushes more out of their home on Booth Avenue. This is where I had to cut the, through the grass to let the water flow out of the trench to get this yard to drain, drain or this will sit here for a week. The water also seeped into the basement. Carpet cleaners tearing up the hardwood floor. They're trying to contain Mother Nature's mess. A few times I had to walk upstairs and just kind of... You know, because you work so hard. All I do, I work so hard. My kids' rooms are down there. But everything's literally on the bed. I'm off to my stepmom's room and my mom's room. My life is going to terminate shortly. I have pancreatic cancer, and it's a non-fixable. So I'm just going to live out my life in my style. Let's get married. <laughs> No, our dreams will never die. I'm so happy that this makes Deb happy towards the end of her life, and I'm so glad that I've been part of it. I'm very blessed. Now, for the vows. I promise to you is to find you in the next life, and we start again. It made me teary. <laughs> it made me realize how good we've been for each other. I now pronounce you married. How wonderful and blessed we are to have found each other and to have spent so many years together. It's, it's been quite a journey. I, I haven't felt this good in four weeks. Homeless, panhandlers, or none of the above, backers of this ordinance say more and more people are doing this, sitting or lying down in public right-of-ways or on objects like this planter, and it could cost you. Chanel and Carl could soon face up to a $2,500 fine, about 190 days in jail or probation for sitting here. Do you think you're doing anything wrong sitting right here? Besides <laughs> making people mad, no. <laughs> well, what they don't understand is the second you do that, you pretty much get people nowhere else to go and you pretty much create more of a problem. We talked to business owners in the area to see what they think about the ordinance, which would keep people from doing something like this. One manager tells me that she thinks it is a problem and that it's gotten worse. I feel like that creates a very uncomfortable environment for people to come downtown, and for that reason, fewer people are coming downtown to patronize the businesses down here. Others are on the fence. I'm so torn. I think they need a place to go, a safe place to go, but I also don't, I certainly don't want to ticket them. We're people just like they are. Well, we're just getting ready. We're kind of stacking stuff up and uh, roughing things out. It's fascinating just to see how it starts as a, as a block of ice and then becomes this beautiful formation. Ice is a really uh, tactile medium and it just draws people to to want to see it when the snow starts flying. It's magical. It's very magical. She's absolutely loving it. The theme this year for us is uh, Mr. Whiskers Deep Steam Mouse Trap. We got um, abstract. Just kind of a crazy theme. Uh, whatever we can kind of come up with. This is way fun. Yeah. Yeah? Are you having a good time? A sticky situation for a Canyon City neighborhood. Thousands upon thousands of angry bees swarming the area of Franklin Avenue and North 15th Street. There could be 100,000, uh, 150,000 bees in there. Three tree trimmers accidentally cut into a large beehive inside this tree. We were just in the process of taking the tree down and got up there and uh, got into a pretty nasty beehive. Each of them got stung about 15 to 20 times. Now beekeepers are working to calm the colony. They understand something went awry. 
they just being bees and taking care of business, doing what they can. They're warning people who are allergic to these flying insects to avoid the area, turn off your AC, and close your windows. It's scary once you cut into that. I mean, I mean we knew that they were, there were a few honeybees up in there, um, but we had no idea that there were a couple thousand up there. Katie Pelton. Definitely one of those moments you'll never forget. KKTV 11 News.